What's up ladies and gents and welcome back to Potato Monsters League of Legends Top 5 Plays. This episode features a wide array of different types of plays and ends with a little surprise from our good friend Sky, so be sure to stick around until the very end. Kickstarting this episode off at our number 5 play is Sketchy kills on Annie with a beautiful play in the bot lane. At the start, we see the fed enemy team taking the tower. She desperately does whatever she can to save it, but unfortunately it's not enough and she has to retreat back. As they close the gap, we see Tibbers kept right behind her in order to block Zap, and then out of nowhere she reads the Jinx perfectly and flashes the rocket straight into a kill. Nasus continues the chase, but the friendly Brand is now here to help, so she kites back and Brand lands his stun, and then she turns to deal some damage. Annie then uses the speed up from Talisman to dodge Z and creates some distance, leading to a second kill in this play, despite being well behind in gold and experience. Coming in at her number 4 play is Little Trumpet with a big play on Yasuo. At the start we see his team is in trouble as Blue Team dives him under the tower. Vi decides to ult Karma as he gets closer, allowing him to come in and immediately kill Kha'Zix right after. He then chases down Karma for the kill and now he's stuck in a 1v2 but Sivir is low so he dashes after her and then runs back to his tower for help. With the tornado ready from his Q, he lines it up and knocks them both up in the air as the tower gets Volibear low enough for the triple. He then utilizes Wind Wall to fizzle the boomerang on its way back and then he dashes behind the wall negating a lot of auto attack damage and allowing him to pick up the quad after a great roam to bottom lane. Scoring in at third place for this week, we have HFG Hunter on Akali. At the beginning, we see her taking blue buff as Yi comes to contest it. He throws down a pink and gets on her with Alpha Strike, but he's quickly forced to flash away as Akali jumps to him for the kill, and now we see more enemy players headed their way. As she tries to regroup, a wild vein comes out of nowhere with Condemn as the fight erupts, and now we see Akali go down quickly, and as her guardian angel works on reviving her, red team takes the lead in this fight. Akali comes up and instantly kills Katarina before flashing away, and then she sees an opportunity and Shadow dances to Vayne for the kill. Wukong flashes the chase but she ults to Annie, runs to the shroud, and then ults back to Annie again, but this time turns to fight with Sivir, using her ultimate to swag out after the kill, and then go back in on the clone, juking Wukong again and allowing her to escape. Together with Sivir, they take down the monkey for the 5 for 2 exchange, thanks to some beautiful shadow dancing around and timing on her twilight shrouds. Coming in at our number 2 spot, we have Gunny Turk 7 on Lee Sin and major props to the friendly Gragas. In the beginning, we see them near the enemy blue buff as Lee Sin war jumps into a sonic wave resonating strike and then Dragon's Rage for the kill. We're gonna fast forward it real quick as Gragas and Lee Sin go on the hunt between the first two enemy towers but end up having to retreat when Syndra shows up, forcing a flash on Lee Sin. As they head off into the enemy jungle, Lee Sin lines up a beautiful Q going in on Lucian and landing his E before rotating out with a war jump and letting Gragas come in to finish him off. Lee Sin then lands another Q as Gragas rotates out and he comes in on Syndra, dealing some damage before backing off to wait for Gragas. Together they go in on Syndra, grabbing the kill and then right as Gragas is about to go down, they turn things around with a safeguard and explosive cast to not only save Gragas but also score them their fourth kill in this spree. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have an epic backdoor by X Sivion Caitlyn, and at the start, we notice a few things. First off, we look at the gold and see that things are extremely close. Next, we take a look at the map and see that the majority of blue team are pushing down mid lane to end the game with their fresh Baron buffs. Caitlyn was splitting bottom, so they group, but then something amazing happens. Caitlyn sees Lux right before she recalls and decides to go for the 1v1, dodging the binding with a great caliber net and taking the kill right after. She took a huge risk not going back, but it's about to pay off as Ziggs utilizes his insane AoE damage to pick up the kill on the enemy Leona while also stalling their push. As the enemy team finished off Ziggs, they think about what to do next. Do they take the tower and leave, or should they go for the inhib? At this point in the game, blue team is under a lot of pressure and have to make a quick decision and either go back to stop Caitlyn or continue pushing to take the inhib and let the responding teammates handle Caitlyn. They decide to press on, get the inhib and get out, but red team has a different plan. Nami stalls as long as she can and then a lot of red team responds, stopping their push and chasing them out so that they can't recall. As we speed up this part of the play, we see Caitlyn continue to push as red team do their best to deny them from going back. With the enemy Leona and Lux coming up soon, blue team does whatever they can to keep the rest of the enemy team away from their base as all eyes turn to the Nexus as Caitlyn continues to ravage their base. We see Leona and Lux rush in as Caitlyn somehow avoids Zenith Blade in the binding and then uses the creeps to block them out and finish the game just in the nick of time. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have shot in on Orianna helping Satan himself. Now, the worst part about playing against a Teemo is you always know when you're gonna die. And when you hit that goddamn shroom, your teammates know it, you know it, and worst of all, he knows it. Right when you hear that sound, you know it's all over for you, then you die super slowly, and look at him run around like a little bitch. God damn, I hate Teemo. Thanks everyone for watching and a special thanks to Sky for lending his voice to spread the hatred of Teemo. What a good guy. Thanks again everyone, take care and I'll see you back here next week for the next episode of our League of Legends Top 5 Plays.